minute and a half in. Blitzko is still basically looking at Fury and trying to figure out exactly what he wants to do. Their, their height, they're not used to fighting fighters their same speed. In the black with gold. Some kind of talent advantage here. Some kind of improvisational advantage. Jabs and Fury three. They find Fury landing one power punch. Feel him out, read the opposition, and we'll think about what to do as we go forward. Round one. Jabs as he out through. Nothing really to choose from. I can understand uh, with nothing to do a draw in the first round. And he's supposed to be losing these rounds. And Klitschko jabs to the body. The big problem Fury has is I don't think Fury is known as a big one punch fighter. He calls a Vladimir problem. Not to go in and gamble unless Fury can hurt. My assumption is just always a 245. Let's go a little bit more. The punch, it probably won't be as meaningful as it will if Fisco lands one. Now there, still a minute and 15 to go in the round. First round could have got a power punch in the fight. And he's doing a great job with his face, oh. Jim. Jack, an uppercut, a body shot, a hooking punch, a straight right hand. All of those are power punches. Round three, scheduled 12 for the heavyweight championship of the world. Imagination on Klitschko. Klitschko is by nature cautious. Roy, he seems to seem to have. That's one of the outcomes. Slow down a little bit or make a mistake like that. And he left. Or he's going to step back and counter with the right hook. He's not sure. Because when a man's hands is... Vladimir, different looks. Not let that Vladimir get set. Unsettle him. Kind of causing Klitschko to... He's doing damage. He's accurate and he's punching hard. He hasn't done any... After the first three rounds, personally, I think it's which have Tyson Fury winning all three rounds. What do you have? Okay, Jim, th there's no question you, you could give him more. 29, 28, Tyson Fury. Klitschko is walking him down, and if they landed an equal amount of the punches, I gave it. If Vladimir could, could bring that, there's no question that Tyson's landing his shots. He lands one, and so you give it to the guy who lands two so far. And particularly a door to him, or make him hold up. Much lower for Tyson Fury. If he is trying to win the fight, you would have to throw his hard right hand across the top. Throws it again, bail the right hand. And that may inhibit Fury from turning. Offered no evidence of that. Fury throwing more jabs than Clinton. Oh, hard right Not hand early. for Klitschko lands on Fury's face. Ooh, it's also conceivable that those very close rounds could go the other way. A lot, a lot of times over in Germany, everything under the left side. Yeah, I think he should be. He's not getting that opportunity in the win over Pavlosildorf, Germany, where Tyson Fury may conceivably be building a scorecard advantage over Vladimir Klitschko upstairs. Of course, like that. Dive, Vladimir Klitschko, a cut on the cheek, not dissimilar, by the way. To the and what you got to admire about Tyson Fury no, 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 is he does stop, have stop. the best Jesse Vladimir, a lot of problems, and the faint before he throws it. Jab, he's moving his head, and he's taking Klitschko's jab. So you got to go to something else. And to Tyson Fury. So Fury is building what might become on Letterman's score. better, he should win as always. But one of his fainting and that long jab right there. Or guys that are smaller. But a top had a somewhat disappointing outing earlier in time. Heavyweight ruler, Vladimir Klitschko. He has his weight on his back, foot on Fury. Because to win, that's not terribly dissimilar to what's happened in the first six rounds here tonight. Klitschko. He's also used to things going his way, even when he fights on the back. Telling Vladimir, you are now fighting from Vladimir Klitschko. Harold, how do you have it? This is unbelievable. Vladimir is so in because Vladimir is not punching. I mean, look at that. Fury touches fight. Fury doing all the punching, Vladimir doing oh, next to nothing. Oh, 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 oh. It's like Vladimir certainly can hit harder. You know, he can knock you out with either hand, and he's not doing it. He's just grabbing. Vladimir has had many distractions coming into the fight this time around. Fights to Tim Witherspoon and Carl Williams. Um, they gave both some of these rounds as little as Klitschko is doing. If there's very little to choose from. Needs to tighten up some. And the optics are no good for Dan. Vladimir Klitschko at this moment. He's pulled the Roy Jones. You see that? Yeah, he's been doing it all night long. He put yeah. both he's hands been, behind his back, Tyson been, Fury. He's been doing it all night long to affect Stop. Klitschko's confidence. <laughs> he said Fury beat him to the punch with the left jab. They both threw hook, but Fury beat him to the punch. Then Fury lands a, a weak left, a weak right, and another left. 
Fury steal his body shots, which are great shots to steal. Good jab by Fury. Yeah, that's, that's the first good jab Klitschko's landed. And give Klitsch, uh, give Fury credit. It's stop, stop. not so easy to run. Who's taking your jab away with head movement? There's another good jab for Klitschko. That's the second stop, one. Maybe stop. he's getting no, no. it. And Francisco Vargas, here's an entirely different high-quality job. And Jim, the bad thing about this is Chris going punching inside. He's the most powerful guy. Boy, that's he's a slow, now he won't punch inside when he needs to. Like right here, he should be working. Now time, whatever commentary we've made about how Klitschko doesn't look good, Fury has never looked on this level in his career so far. And sometimes... A challenger with a lot of self-confidence. Opportunity is there, and it seems as though that's what Fury has done so far. Stop, stop. I don't give credit for those, but those are good little man down. A successful title defense in the heavyweight division. A draw, and hold on to his title. Right from the first round of last week's Canelo Cotto fight, Roy, you talked stop, stop, about Cotto. Far. No, he hasn't been a sharp puncher, but he hasn't been punching at all, really. So. How old Klitschko looks, Tyson Fury made a point to that before the fight. In the build-up saying he's an old champion and this is what happens. The young oh, guy comes shot. to replace him. Really good right hand by Klitschko. That's that was his best right for. hand of the fight. And now Fury mugs as if to say, oh, you didn't hurt me. And that suggests that maybe stop, Vladimir stop, stop. did make significant. Stop. And in theory, Tony Weeks will the dunk. Klitschko went inside and held again. And Fury gets in a little left hook. Klitschko is standing there, punches by yep. Fury, as he continues to build up a margin over Klitschko in landed punches oh. counted by Kopitar. Oh, good shot. Big left hook by Fury, as Vladimir momentarily looks. Let's just hang in a second, and Fury was not having it. That was a tremendous opportunity for Fury, and he took advantage. That's a significant missing element. For a guy who is the heavyweight champion. We're just seeing more fudger here. There's more pep in his step. There seems to be a little more willingness to do what he has to do to win this fight. Here you see Klitschko come in with the one, two, the best right hand, right on the chin. That was a good shot. Fury shook his head and said, come on, bring it. I can take whatever you got. Then Fury hits with a good left hook around the chin. And that was his best part of the fight mm -hmm. so far. And drops his hands right up there because he goes, Pitchko's not going to do nothing. Then he'll speak to him from outside the ropes. Harold, we've come to the tenth. How do you have it through nine? <laughs> okay, Jim, I got it seven rounds to two, 88. 83 Tyson round and do nothing else. I mean, he gives the round away. Like, for example, in that ninth round, he landed a nice right hand. He could have just stepped on it, you know, jumped all over Fury. Fury keeps touching him, touching him, touching him, piling up points with that left jab, that wild right hand. And Vladimir keeps doing, just keeps touching him to pile up points. Actually threw a jab to the body a moment ago. Perhaps the suggestion, not because of the action it's produced so far, but because of the res seeming to carry these rounds. The challenger has to take the crown for the champion. If Vladimir wants to stay champion... Right already. One of the most frequent laments of disappointed opponents in boxing in the last stop, stop, 10 years. Ukrainian. However, he has fought the overwhelming bulk of his career based in Germany. He is very familiar to German officials and judges. Commonly, more than half of televisions in the turning point. Fury switching from side to side, clipping, clipping. Well, that, that time, Vladimir turned around quickly because he knew that Fury's not going to be a gentleman and wait for him. He's going to hit him. Yep, done. So you got to go to the body, to the head. You got to let your head go out and fight. One thing we haven't seen from Vladimir Klitschko in his long and illustrious career, a fighter who was really bringing it to him. We haven't seen him down on the cards, desperate to score a knockout and do something dramatic to pull out a fight. Here's the opportunity. And given the expression on his face when he was listening... Again, he's just not throwing it. And right now, it's right there. He's a shorter guy. Why is he punching on the inside? And this is an example of the better fighter. Tremendous urgency that was communicated to him by Jonathan Banks. And there was another good body shot by Fury. And Fury landed some good halfway head shots because they're not landing clean. But they are touching the head. Right Coming side. down uh, Vladimir Klitschko's left cheek as the result of a new cut. What that is, Max, that is the repetition of fighting all these shorter guys, the guys his height that he can hold and win with. Because he held him, he didn't get used to fighting on the inside. He so can't change his stripes all exactly. of a sudden. Oh, oh, left hook for Fury. Tight, uh, Klitschko went for a home run left hook and got caught with and it. That he got caught left hook for Fury. And like you say, just being 6'9 or 6'8, 
And 250 p- in game card. To me, that's an even round now. Three minutes to go. Official card. Fury has won the fight if he stands up. He could get knocked down three times and still be the winner on Harold's. Klitschko out because in Klitschko going for the that's knockout, that's he's going to leave that's himself that's more. That's the DQ, with, the DQ would be if Fury is caught with another oh, rapid punch. Big Two big left hooks by Fury. Landing down in the fight is holding on rather than throwing back. And he's not getting. He's not used to getting hit upside the head this much. Yet. Has commanded the fight with his movement. Oh, this and shot. More punches, and there's a tremendous right hand shot holding on. But see, Jim, the difference oh, here. There's a left hook for Klitschko. A minute 40 to go. He's starting to build a little fire here. But, but Fury can take her. That's five to second, ten seconds off the clock. That's bad clock met right now. 80 seconds to go. That's left hook by Klitschko is a good one. Punches in this round. Fury finds like he's the guy that's behind. 2004 against Lehman Brewster. That was a different. Never Every ever. previous loss has been by knockout. Never ever lost a decision. One more chance for Vladimir in a left hook. He's trying. This he's hugging isn't credit. going to help. No, but he's trying to fight for a chance. I mean, you got to give him credit. He tried. Either, the, the, heavyweight, either the heavyweight championship of the world just changed hands or we're... Ramon Serdan scores at 116-111. All three scores to the winner by unanimous decision. From the United Kingdom, the new unified heavyweight champion of the world, Chrysler.